the discovery of Pluto finally added an American, Clyde Tombaugh, to this short but esteemed list of planet hunters. So the folks in Streeter, Illinois, told me that in New Mexico, there's still some Tombaugh's there. That's where Clyde moved after discovering Pluto. Clyde's no longer with us, but his 97-year-old widow and both his son and daughter still live there. So I decided I had to check it out. Whoa. That's a lot of Tombaugh's. How many of you are there? <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Hi. How are you? Tom Bomb. And that a pleasure. I'm Clyde's daughter. And an honor. My gosh. And this is my brother. Neil Al Tombaugh. I'm uh, Clyde's son. Al, pleasure. Hi. And this is my mother, Patricia Tombaugh. This is Clyde's wife. It is an honor. Hello. Yes, I've been looking forward to this. Oh, well, that could be, I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me about Clyde as a, as, a, as a person. He was the oldest of six children, so he was born to help on the farm but he did not want to be a farmer. He had not had the opportunity to go to college. So what, what you're saying is that he discovered Pluto without ever having yet gone to college. No, he was straight off the farm. Lowell Observatory wanted somebody they didn't have to pay very much to do this job. What do you think they pay you for finding a planet? <laughs> <laughs> After discovering Pluto, he got a, a college scholarship, which we would not have otherwise had. And, of course, he was supposed to be the big hero, but he didn't feel like the big hero. Dad was a little embarrassed about the fame. He didn't like the limelight. He's humble, so... Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so what was he like just as a dad? Was he like a weird dad, or did you think all dads were like that? No, I knew he was very different. One of the things, we did have his grinding barrel to make telescopes in the kitchen. This is the barrel that grinds the glass right. into the shape yes, of a mirror. Yes, in the kitchen. How Mother ever put up with that, I don't know. We had uh, grinding uh, material in our food, and Mother's trying to cook around this situation. Well, finally, she made Daddy move out of the kitchen, and he got a shop. <laughs> that, that's good. You mean to tell me you have some of Clyde's original telescopes here? Whoa. These are his original telescopes. Original telescopes built by my dad. Very handmade. Built out of old farm machinery, car parts, and whatever he could find. We'll just push it out here. You push? All right. You bet. So, Hal, I don't recognize any hardware on this at all. <laughs> the, the tube itself is probably part of an old grain elevator. And how about the base? Well, the base is an old cream separator. The axle is off an early model Buick. So there's a Buick out there now without an axle? Without an axle. <laughs> this counterweight was probably a flywheel from an early piece of farm equipment, yeah. maybe even steam powered. We're not sure. And I see a Coke can. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. So we got the open end of the telescope at the top. Right. And light comes down, reflects off the curved mirror, and light reflects back and comes to an eyepiece under that Coke can. And if we wiggle this Coke can a little bit like this, there, there you go. there's the eyepiece. We're ready to go. There it is. Uh, this is the only telescope I see back here. Oh, no, there's a couple this... others. Let me pull this one out for you. OK. okay? This has got to be the most homemade looking telescope <laughs> I have ever seen. Is this a lawnmower? That is a lawnmower base. <laughs> this is what uh, the family ca has called the grazer gazer. He looked at this and said, it's got wheels, it's got a handle. We need to put a telescope on that so I can push it around. <laughs> How to make a portable telescope? <laughs> Absolutely. He, he built it strictly on a utilitarian base out of what he had, which was thin plywood and miscellaneous pieces of wood. This is insane. This just rotates. Exactly. What impresses me is that he didn't care what this thing looked like as long as the image of the universe came out sharp. Right. Aesthetics didn't mean a whole lot. <laughs> <laughs> On my way out of town, I stopped at a local church where there's a tribute to Clyde Tombaugh. A stained glass window that celebrates his life. How many scientists have stained glass windows? 
of them. It's more than just a celebration of his discovery. A celebration of his life overcoming obstacles that would keep most people down. To me, that's the message here.